I'm John Keogh and with my wife Annie we're managing this property here called Yarra Glen, just east of Holbrook. Three years ago as part of the Holbrook Land Care Group, a group of farmers got together to, to set up a producer demonstration site. Now we had, been, we had done a grazing course and I think we all were showing varying degrees of interest in rotational grazing and so we really wanted to look at what were the benefits of rotational grazing and, and how they could benefit us as producers in this specific area. All the research would show that rot rotational grazing does increase winter stocking rates and can allow you to have a, a higher stocking rate through the year. We chose this paddock, it's a 45 hectare paddock. Um, the, the south side was being undergrazed, the, the northwestern side was being overgrazed, and the, the eastern paddock was you know, being grazed just right, you know, it was being grazed optimally. So we divided the three distinct areas using land class fencing. That's enabled us to force more stock into the southern paddock and reduce the undergrazing, and we were able to take the stock off the northwestern paddock to reduce the uh, overgrazing. This is the southern paddock now. And if you had been in here three years ago, there was feed everywhere. And that's a real problem. It's a self-perpetuating problem because the rank feed is sitting in the paddock. It's reducing the amount of grass that can be grown underneath it. And when the stock come back in, it's, it's all rank. They can't get any quality feed and they don't want to eat it. So they'll go and overgraze the other section of the paddock. As soon as the fence was in, this southern paddock could now be grazed really hard, so all the dead feed was able to be removed, and immediately we had increased pasture growth, increased clover growth, uh, increased, increased um, clover density, and stock performance would have increased as a consequence. So now we've got a situation where the undergrazed paddock and the overgrazed paddock are producing just as much as the section that was optimally grazed beforehand. Certainly I would feel that we've had to have picked up at least a four DSE to the hectare per annum carrying capacity by definitely by utilising that southern side. On the business side of this whole operation, um, of course the big burning question that we must answer is what is the return on investment of that fence? And we're looking at around 15 to 20 per cent. We've utilised all that feed over these three years that we've been growing. We've utilised it all instead of wasting half of it. And on this side, we've looked after the country a bit. We haven't got those bare patches. And again, we need a dollar figure for that. But um, looking at it, we've got to have utilised things so much better that, that it's got to be worthwhile. I go onto the MLA rotational grazing tool and I put in my figures and, um, and it tells me how long I can graze the certain number of stock in each of the paddocks in fact for how long because I've already um, estimated how much feed I've got there and um, I've put those stock in and at the moment um, we're running about 1100 ewes with 80% lambs on them at the moment. With the southern block I've just finished grazing it as you can see and it's eaten down fairly well. Um, I'm now going to try and let that go to head and, um, and that will help to strengthen the phalaris and get, the, get a few extra tillers onto each plant. And I'm hoping in a couple of months you'll see lots of phalaris heads all through that southern paddock because I've, I've spelled it and it'll be nice and strong. Thank you.